Another great day to draw. Today we are doing a schnauzer. This is a request from Misha, and Misha would like to name this schnauzer Chico. So um, she requested Chico have green eyes and a brown nose, but I was trying to get the green eyes. It just wasn't looking right, so I gave it a green bandana. So hope that's okay. If you guys can like this video and subscribe, that would be amazing. And so let's get started. So we're gonna start off with the head shape right there. So I want you guys to draw. Circle. And then right above this circle, we are going to do two soft triangles. So what it means soft, that means I just make the edges round, like they're soft. That's gonna be his ears. So we're gonna bring this over like this. Do the same thing on this one. And then you want to erase in here so we can make this connect. So it's coming down like this and we're gonna make that little pink in there. Can you guys see that? If you want to droop down a little bit, you can. I kinda went, whoop. There we go, that looks good. And you can erase right inside there for his ear. Look at that, yeah, that looks like a good schnauzer ear. So right here, let's do another triangle. And we're not gonna erase that because this is the behind ear. So that's okay, but we can erase right this little teeny piece there. And if you wanna make it have a little dip, just like the other one, just dip it down a little bit. Look at that, cutie, cutie. All right, we're gonna do its nose area. It's going to be an even softer triangle. So it's like, look how soft that triangle is. Soft, soft, soft. You're like, that doesn't look like a schnauzer. Just bear with me, let's get this, we can do it. So hopefully you got that. Let's connect this. So you wanna make it round and connect. Look at that, bam. And then we are going to put a nose right here. You guys can put a shiny in there. So this is gonna be sharpied in. I'm just doing it so you can see. So now we can erase some of our lines inside of here. So it's coming together. Can you guys see this? So it's coming down like this, coming over. And right here, we are just gonna make a line down and make this connect come out. Do you guys see that? And you guys are gonna make this side, it's gonna come down even farther. There you go, look, do you guys see the note? I totally can see it now, it's totally coming along. And we're gonna make this come up like this. Wow, loving it, loving this, loving this little schnauzer. And for his eyes, I'm just gonna put one eye right here, one eye right here, and I'm gonna give it some eyebrows. All right, just coming along, Chico, Chico's coming along. All right, so right below its head, we are going to do another circle, okay? So it's like right to below, maybe to the side a little bit, we got another circle. Then right behind here, you're gonna do a smaller circle. This is his bum, okay? We're gonna be connecting those. So it's gonna go from here to here. When it touches here, curve it. And then it's gonna come from here to here. Look at that. So we're gonna come here, make this come up. And then back here, we are gonna connect that. Okay, so we now have the shape of his body. So you can come in and erase part of our circles because we don't need those anymore. Hopefully you guys, this is coming along. I'm seeing it here, I'm seeing it. And we can erase in here, because we don't need that anymore. If you wanna add, see right here, I just went up like this. I just add an extra little piece there. That's looking good. All right, let's give him a bandana. So around his neck. We're gonna come down. Make it go over. 
and you want to make it look like it's coming, it's actually wearing it. Do you see that? So now you want to race in here. We are coming along here. Stupendous. Now, what I went around here, so it looks like a bandana is kind of like bunched up a little bit right there. I made waves. So if you want to come in there and make some waves. And then I did a couple of lines here. And one line right here. Look at that, looking good. Now it's tied in the back, so we're gonna do a half circle. And this is the other half of the bandana. And then we're gonna make this one, it almost looks like a lemon coming out there. I made mine green with polka dots. You guys can do what you want on yours, but I thought that was cute as can be. And you know what, before we do the legs, I'm just gonna do his head with the Sharpie. Get out your Sharpie. Let's just see how this is looking, okay? Do its eyebrows. And I guess we can finish that off. So when I first do these, I look at pictures of schnauzers. I create my schnauzer. And then I try to think, how did I create it? And then I try to think in my head and I sketch it out. How am I gonna teach this step by step to you guys? And in the end, oh, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna put a little mouth in there. In the end, you guys get to learn how to draw and I try to make it as simple as possible so you guys can end up with your awesome pictures. And of course, I love learning about fun facts. So it's, I do some research and I figure out what do I wanna teach about this or what I've learned. And then I always try to look for a joke. I did not find a schnauzer joke. There we go, that looks good so far. I'm just gonna double Sharpie just here and then we're gonna continue on with our creation. I don't know if you guys know, but I, growing up, I had a fear of dogs, like extreme fear. And they could, dog could smell my fear. And for some reason, if there was 20 people that were there and there was one dog, the dog would find me. Nobody else, just me. It could smell my fear and it would come towards me. They like to jump on me. Um, I've been bitten twice by dogs. Yeah, somehow it didn't work. But I have a dog now and he's very nice to me. Okay, let's get our pencil back. We're gonna try to find the legs. So, oh, look at this cute tail. I love schnauzer tails. It's just a little nub. Look at that nub, loving the nub. All right, we are gonna put its legs out here. So we're gonna come down the bottom and the way that they are groomed is they usually have lots of hair here. We're gonna give it some fur on there too. So you guys can erase in this one. So we're gonna come here, Oop. And give it some hair on this side. Wow, that is crazy hair I gave it. And give it a little more hair here. All right, let's do its back leg. So we want it to be coming off his little rump here. So it's gonna curve around, then you wanna bring it out. And he has this very interesting stance here. It's a very cute stance. So we're gonna do his back leg. So let's erase in here so we can know where it is. And then we're gonna give it some hair coming off. So you come here. Let's give a little hair here. Super job. If we want, we can give it some shadow down there. That's what I did. Okay, what else do we need in here? I think we're ready to Sharpie. Right on. We did fantastic. Oh, we need, we need some fun facts. Okay, there are three 
different kinds of schnauzes. I did not know that. There is a standard, giant, and miniature. Now, if I had my choice, I'd probably pick miniature because um, I don't like big dogs because they scare me because they're gonna bite me. So I'd pick a miniature one, yep. And the name Schnauze is from the German word. Um, oh, did I write down the German word? I didn't, but it means um, snout, mustache, or whisker snout because of its face. So that's where it came from. Oh, Schnauze. You just want to say it. Oh, Schnauze. Okay, I'll stop. That's annoying. <laughs> okay. You guys are doing good. Let's see what else. Okay. Schnauzers originated in South Germany in the 14 and 15 centuries. That's a long time ago. In those days, oh, we're gonna outline this. In those days, um, merchants would carry around their carts and they'd have all their goods in there. And it was loaded down and they wanted a kind of dog that was small enough to ride in the carts but was strong enough to be able to protect what's in the carts. So that's what they were used for. Pretty cool. I'm giving it its shadow down here. And for coloring, I only used three colors and that included the background. Awesome blossom. Okay, we're gonna go around the outside here. Bloop. Fantastic. And I found out that schnauzers are above average intelligence. Hmm. You guys can erase any lines you don't need. They are smart little cookies. That's awesome. Okay, what did I forget? I'm thinking I forgot something. Uh, no, we're just gonna go from there. I don't think I forgot anything. Okay, all we are using is green, gray, and purple. Oh, I have a touch of pink too. So we're just gonna color in this green. This was in replace of the green eyes, so hope that's okay. And I'm gonna put polka dots on there. You guys can put stripes or whatever you want. And then I'm going to go around the outside of this a little bit darker. Okay. Good job. And now we have gray. This is going to be for like the sh shadows and stuff. Going to go a little around the ears, under the eyes. Um, let's go a little bit under here under its chin, so it looks like a little shadow around the green, around down here, definitely. And, oh, I forgot to Sharpie right there, that's okay. So we're just gonna color this in, because that's his back leg. I'm gonna color this back leg. A little bit around the outside of this guy. We don't want to forget, we're going to be putting a little bit of pink in there. Go around the outside. Let's get that pink out. Pinky, where are you? Of course, I can't see it. Ay, caramba. I'm losing all my pencils. I don't know where pink is. Okay, we're just going to have to use light red for now because I can't find my pink. So I'm just barely going to color in there very lightly. A little bit on the lip. A little bit on the cheek if you want, lightly one way. I go lightly another way. And a little bit in the middle. And then I'm gonna go around the outside purple because I thought green and purple are a super fantastic contrasting color that go stupendous together. But you guys can pick any color you want for the bandana and for uh, the background because it's great when they all look different. Oh, I also found out schnauzes 
you have to brush their ears and their legs a lot or they get really matted. So you gotta take care of their hair because they will start looking like dreadlocks and they get all naughty and then you just have to cut it all off. So you just gotta take good care of it. We're gonna go under here. All right, I hope you guys learned something new about schnauzers that you didn't know about. Go and check out one of my other videos. I've got tons out there and I keep producing them. And if you subscribe and like this one, that's awesome. And then you'll know when my next video is out. And go check them out. They're super fun. Anyways, have an amazing day. Catch you later. Peace out.